In this video, we're going to look at the difference between single and double quotes in SQL databases. So unlike most other programming languages, we tend to use single quotes when we are enclosing strings in SQL, like this. So this is a typical query and this works okay. Incidentally, if you want to include a single quote within your string, then you can just add another single quote and this will work. So this one is searching for men's with a single quote. So can we use double quotes in databases? It really depends on the actual database itself. In SQL Server, let's have a look. SQL Server, you can't actually use double quotes to enclose strings. However, if we turn quoted identifiers on by running this first, then we can actually use double quotes for database entity names. Okay, so schema names, table names, column names, we can now enclose in double quotes, but we have to turn this on first. So this works. If I turn this off again, then this won't work. However, even though quoted identifiers are on, you still can't use double quotes around strings in SQL Server. So if you are using double quotes in SQL Server, make sure you put the quotes around the entity names themselves. This won't actually work. I should also mention that in SQL Server, you can actually use square brackets around entity names as well. This will also work. Again, you can't use it for strings. So why might we want to do this? It's quite common to find SQL databases that have spaces in the entity names. So this would actually work, but you couldn't do this. And such databases are quite common if you have any legacy systems that are using Microsoft Access. As for the whole single quotes or double quotes thing, it really depends on the actual database software, Oracle, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, SQL Server. Uh, they all have slightly different approaches to using single or double quotes. I should just mention that MySQL and MariaDB are really not too fussy about which quotes you use. They're happy to use either double quotes or single quotes. They can also use backticks, these characters. They're commonly used for entity names. So as you see, this query with a single quote will work. And if we edit it, we'll put in double quotes. So this will also work. But we can't actually use the back ticks for a string itself. So to summarize, in SQL Server databases, if we're enclosing strings in quotes, we always use single quotes. In some databases, we can put database entity names in double quotes. However, if you do this in SQL Server, you'll have to set quoted underscore identifier on. Also in SQL Server, you can enclose database entity names within square brackets. This is really useful if you have a database with spaces in the entity names. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.